This is Eyewitness News Health Beat. Today, making healthy decisions in the frozen food section. This is Mary Snell. She's a registered dietitian for Marsh Supermarkets, and she joins us in studio every Thursday. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Scott. So tell us about what options are available to us to make sure that we're eating healthy when we're shopping in the frozen food. Well, the frozen food aisle, aisle has expanded over the last couple of years, and so you want to make some wise decisions because right now you have a lot of choices. There's organic, there's gluten-free. There are a lot of entrees for people who are counting calories. If you have if time strapped or you don't have a lot of time for meal prep, and also um, if you're on a tight budget, this can make your life a little bit easier if you know what to look for. What makes these products good for us? Well, there's a couple tips that I always tell my customers. You want to look for um, products that have calorie levels between 400 and 600 calories. Okay. Um, look at the saturated fat content, and we're looking for something between 4 and 6 grams of saturated fat. We also want our entrees to give us some fiber. So look for something that gives you at least three grams of fiber. And the other thing you want to look for is a lower sodium product because, you know, even though these are very convenient, they could be high in sodium. So again, sodium value about less than 700 milligrams. Every Thursday when you're in here, we often talk about portion size. Yes. And you've got something here that you wanted to talk I, I about do. as well. You know, something like this, you know, this is packaged as a single serving, so it would seem. It's a chicken pot pie, but if you look at the label, that's actually two servings. And so you look at the, in the nutrition information, you're sort of misled to think, well, you know, it's only about 500 calories, but you end up eating the entire pot pie. You've consumed over 1,000 calories. That's a lot. It is a lot of calories. Uh, so in addition to our, our frozen food entrees, yeah. what are some other things that we can add to our meal to make it a healthier meal? Exactly, and that's a good point because these, again, just really provide sort of your protein and grain, and some of the items don't really provide enough vegetables. So if you're, if you're finding an entree that doesn't have enough vegetables, add a salad. Add maybe some, a can of uh, vegetable juice, some frozen vegetables, something like that that can balance out the mm. meal. Um, the, other op the other item is certainly some fruit, whether it's canned or fresh. And uh, with our dairy product, add a glass of milk. And then you can really get a balanced meal. So this idea that maybe some people have that going frozen food isn't the healthiest option, we've got some options that really do work. Yeah, it is. Again, it's an option. You certainly don't want to make it the main part of, obviously, your meal plan. But once in a while, a frozen uh, entree can really uh, make life a little bit easier around the house. Mary, good to see you again. Same with you, Scott. All right. For more information on frozen food choices, we've got uh, more information for you on WTHR.com. Hundreds of thousands of Subarus are on the recall list today. I'll tell you why. That's coming up next.